With vaccine eligibility opening up in Georgia, demand for shots is expected to grow in Metro Atlanta. Latasha Givens has more on steps the state is taking to ensure that everybody who wants the vaccine can get it. There's a lot of excitement about the grand opening of the mass vaccination site here at Mercedes Benz Stadium. GEMA and FEMA have stepped in to help meet the growing demand. But we also learned today the demand has not been as high in some rural areas, leading to a major site being closed. And I'm for one very excited and just very appreciative of the organization. Governor Kemp, along with FEMA, GEMA and Fulton County Board of Health, toured the Mercedes Benz vaccination site together today. Tomorrow is the first day it will be operating with FEMA's help. The state says the site will be able to vaccinate about 42,000 people a week and will be open seven days a week. You can still book appointments through DPH's website. But as vaccination efforts are stepped up here, we're learning Georgia is shifting resources elsewhere, closing a state-run site in Albany one month after opening due to low demand. Albany was a hot spot for COVID cases at the start of the pandemic, is now currently showing a moderate level of transmission, according to the CDC. I believe we all get in a false sense of security right now. It's warmer. We want to get out. Right now, people just are just letting their guard down. And Dr. Rogan says he's still seeing a lot of hesitancy with the vaccine in the African-American community. Now consider this. The U.S. Census reports that 74 percent of residents in Albany are African-American. Dr. Rogan believes that is just one factor to the lower demand in that area.